Hi everyone, we are on our way to Joshua Tree for a little mini staycation for Donnie's birthday. Our friend Gyps is going to meet us there. We got Donnie driving right here. We have our little co-pilots over there. Hero sleeping. So we have quite a bit of the drive left. About 2 hours and 18 minutes till we get to Joshua Tree. We're actually going to hit up a restaurant for a quick lunch when we get there because check-in time is at 3. Gyps is also bringing his dog so it'll be a good introduction for the dogs to meet. I got my laptop here. Just going to do some work and I will check in with you guys later. Then I come back alive when you touch me You're the one for me, so here I am to give All right, y'all, we made it to the Airbnb. We got the beast parked over here. We got Gypsy's Jeep over here. This is the house. I'll probably show you guys a house tour tomorrow because it's already kind of getting dark. Hi, Atlas. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, Atlas. Good boy. She's a good boy, huh? Such a good boy. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's like a fire pit outside. Because we wanna burn some fire tonight and do some stargazing. I see some uh, chairs over there in a circle, so I'm assuming there might be a fire pit there, so let's go and see. So this property is on 2.5 acres of land and there's some hiking trails here like I said earlier So I want to see if there's like a fire pit because there's one in the front over there by some hammocks But it's like a smaller one. I want to see if there's like an actual fire ring kind of like a camping fire pit moment um, Let's see. Let me turn you guys around. So look how big their land is. So oh, I'm running out of breath. The house is over there And I believe this is still part of their land. They have a nice little bench right here a swing over there. Ah, no fire pit. I thought because I saw these chairs in a circle, there might be a little fire ring over here. Dangerous to put a fire here without a fire pit or ring. But look at this view, guys. Wow. Okay, let's head back down. I was actually gonna take the drone out today, but I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow because we just got here and so we just wanna relax and kind of enjoy this time. But yeah, that's like one thing about content creating is I struggle trying to balance out enjoying my time, but also wanna share it with you guys. It's not to say that like I don't like vlogging. I love vlogging. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't like it. But there are times when I just don't want to pick up the camera and just want to hang out. And so I think that's going to be today. So I'm just going to do some B-roll shots and call it a day. And then tomorrow we'll hang out more. <laughs> but today I think I just want to chill with Donnie and Gyps. Catch up, hang out, and yeah. All right. I don't know how to end this clip. What are you doing, okay, Atlas? I'm gonna look at the pool house. Let's Atlas. In the moment. <laughs> Cheers. Happy early birthday. Good morning, Aiko. Good morning, baby. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is now Tuesday. I'm gonna cook breakfast right now. We're gonna do losi log. We're gonna do some losi log, which is longanisa, rice, and fried egg. Got our trusty rice cooker right here. The elephant brand. Fry up these longanisas right here. These are from Seafood City, and they're chicken, and they fry up like, like kind of normal sausages, which is why we like this one. All right, and there we have it. Longanisa, rice, fried egg, losilog. Let's eat. Losilog, break the yolk over the rice, and mix. The eggs are good. Hmm. Kind of funny. Yeah. So, 
So here we have the living room area. I really like how they furnished this with various types of seating, perfect for gathering. I also really love how all the windows bring the outside in, which is perfect when you're in a beautiful landscape. And of course, the amount of natural light is always a plus. Here is the hallway that leads into the two bedrooms and the one and a half bathrooms. Here is the first bedroom where Gyps and Atlas stayed. I love how both bedrooms had direct access to outside for some fresh air via a sliding door. This is the main bathroom and I really love how they kept this minimal and modern. And a waterfall shower always makes me feel like I'm on vacation. And finally, the primary bedroom. I really liked the low bed. It was perfect for the dogs to jump on and off, especially since we forgot our dog stairs. I also really liked how they positioned the bed in the corner so you have this 180 degree view of the outside. Again, you have the theme of the house of bringing the outside in. I also love the double rug situation in here to bring in some texture. And I just realized I totally forgot to film the kitchen and dining, but you'll see that later in the vlog. Uh, we're gonna go for a walk with Atlas and check out the neighborhood a little bit. What a view. Look at those mountains. By the way, this is a Joshua tree right here. I tried to look up some information on it. Like that's the more popular name, but I forget the scientific name, but it's a yucca. And some people were saying that it's part of the agave family. And then I also saw an article that said there's a resemblance or some sort of similarities to asparagus, which I thought was really weird, but cool. Go baby, go. I go the runner. All right. <laughs> yeah, so when you're out in the desert with your dogs, you gotta make sure they're not stepping on foxtails. So you gotta check their paws after every walk. Atlas just had two in his paws. Those things can, even if it's through the paw, what is it called? Yeah, they can migrate into the inside of your body and it can be deadly if it gets to like the spinal cord or something like that. Dogs can also sniff foxtails. So if your dog is sneezing a lot after a hike, you gotta get them checked ASAP at the vet and they can sit date your dog and check the nostrils to make sure there's no foxtails in there. Where does she think she's going? Missy, your little butt waggling. <laughs> Hero. Hey, not too far. She might get snatched by something. Hero, stay closer to us. Come here. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. Hero, come on. Take your paws. Come on. Okay, walk success. Now I'm gonna take the van out and do some drone shots. I've always wanted to get like the van driving and then have the drone follow it. Haven't done that before, so hopefully I know how to do it. <laughs> okay, let's go though. Not gonna lie, every time I put the drone up, I get a little nervous. I don't know why, it's just not really used to it yet. Okay, so I think my plan is I'm gonna drive around the neighborhood first to see if there's like a really open spot that we can throw up the drone. I'm hoping to get a little bit away from the power lines. I think I found the spot, but I'm gonna back up. Good thing I have a backup camera. This thing has saved me so many times. Okay, obviously I'm going really slow. And this is a, no one's on the road so it's safe, but here's how it's looking. I got the active track on and it's just tracking the van. And so we're just gonna drive. Okay, that was actually really easy doing the drone with the active tracking. I just downloaded the footage. I wanna check it out. Let's see. Gyps is over there doing his content creation. I don't know if I told you guys yesterday, but he brought a piece over there. I'm gonna have him talk about it later. Okay. Super cool. Biome. I don't know why I'm showing you guys on the screen because I'm probably going to do a little intro with this anyways. Uh, excuse me. What's showing? Like, where does it cut off? Yeah, so it's cutting off right by your knee, your right knee. What about my left? Uh, cutting off at the foot. Do you just, see my spot? Just some content yeah. creation going on. Also this morning, I was showing you guys video clips of Donnie playing this. This is the PS Portal. And basically, if your PlayStation at home is on rest mode, you can turn it on with this guy and play remotely. So that's what he was playing. He was playing a game called Diablo 3. Is it 3 or 2, babe? Diablo 3? 4. 4. Oh, he's playing Diablo 4. Pretty cool though. 
But the only thing is like if it's a first person shooter game or a really fast frame rate like Overwatch. I tried last night and it was like really glitchy and not the best, but the fact that you could still play is pretty awesome. Good Christmas present for techies. Yeah, I have like some video, but these are all live photos so I can use the live as like two second clips. Oh, okay. well. See, you can create content with just your phone and behind the scenes. He's showcasing his artwork that he brought here. I'll have him talk about it later. All right guys, guess what time it is? It's Toki time. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? It's 11 o'clock. Shout out to Lady for getting this for me, for doing her photos. I have been a fan of Japanese whiskey. They can get this in most grocery stores, I believe. On the rocks. Also, I have been listening to this artist I just recently discovered. His name is Noah Kahan. Kahan? This song right here, Stick Season, is like perfect for camping or just a Joshua Tree moment. I'm gonna see if I can play it without getting uh, copyrighted. But it's the season of the sticks and I saw your mom, she forgot that I existed and it's Ugh, love this song. Okay guys, so I realized you've seen Jips in the vlog so many times and I haven't had like a proper introduction. So I want to introduce, this is Jips. His name is JP San Pedro, John Paul San Pedro, but for short, we call him Jips. He's an artist, interior designer. He does a lot of cool artwork that I'll have him talk about in a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce him to the vlog and he can just talk about a little bit what he does and I'll link his stuff down below. So Jips, how did we meet? Oh, okay. I think we met through, I used to be a professional dancer, but I think we met through Funkonometry, right? I worked for, I toured with uh, Britney Spears, Janet Jackson, done work for J-Lo, Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez. Okay, sure. can you say who your favorite was to work with? <laughs> Bro, you cannot put this on oh, there. Okay. <laughs> well, who did you hate? <laughs> What's your company name again? <laughs> it's uh, John Paul San Pedro Design. I service anything across the country. You wanna talk about your artwork? Okay. Okay. So this is part of a series called Armature. And aside from my interior design business, I also create and I have my own art collections that I sell on Cherish.com and also in select showrooms. So yeah, this is part of the collection Armature and Armature is a framework in which the art is molded to, basically to support the structure. And just traveling through all my dance tours and traveling the world, I, I've just gained like a passion for architecture around the world and that kind of inspired this collection. And these come in like different sizes. I have anything from like something small like this, I think this is like an 8x10, to something that's like 24 by 36 up to like 8 feet, like large oversized pieces. You can find that on my Instagram at jpsanpedro underscore. All right, well that's Jips. I, I want to do like a little series with all my friends who have like really cool passion careers, like interior design, like a day in the life of an interior designer. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, slash artist. Slash artist. Yeah. But I'll link all his stuff down below so you can check him out. All right, so that's the official introduction. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Bye guys, bye, bye. YouTube. Bye. Okay, I'm going to open the pool to see how cold it is. It says one, two, three, four, open. There it is. I mean, it's actually pretty hot right now. Like the sun hitting me, I feel it feels good. That's pretty genius. It keeps the pool so much cleaner. Wow, look at that guys. Let's dip our toes in, let's see. <gasps> oh, it's freaking cold. Oh, I don't know. It's Ice Plunge 2.0. But it might be cool to get in the jacuzzi, get all warm and then jump in here. That might happen, we'll see. I don't know if I could jump in that pool. It's too cold. It's like literally ice plunge 2.0. Babe, bring your chair over here. Come closer. Bring the black chair. Okay, so tonight we are doing Donnie's famous short rib kai He's getting it prepped. prepped right now because the meat is going to take about two hours to cook. But here is the short rib. This is like 3.67 pounds 
a lot of meat, but the goal is to eat this for kind of like a late lunch and then into the dinner, a lot of leftovers, and then we can take it home as well. These are my favorite beans. What are these called, babe? Long beans. Long beans. Oh, so good. So this I'm gonna do like a, I'm going to boil it and then throw it in an ice bath and then grill it so that it's really nice and crispy. I'm gonna do the same thing with the eggplant. So this is our take of Carve Carrera that a restaurant called Anime does in San Diego. So it's like a elevated kare kare. Garlic's going in. And then we also have some bok choy that I'm gonna grill up as well. All right, y'all, I'm sure you have seen that chicharron and guacamole trend on TikTok and everywhere else. So here we go. We're gonna dip it in. Let's do a big bite. Okay, you're supposed to get a good amount of guacamole in there. Ready? Oh my god. So the saltiness of the chicharron and then the creaminess of the guacamole pair so good together. Mmm, it's going for another bite. Mmm. Mmm. And if you haven't tried this, you gotta try it. Okay, Jeff is gonna try it. <laughs> Atlas is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Time to plate our kare kare. Okay. Let me get some of this kare kare goodness. Let me get a good piece. Alright, now we are going to plate some vegetables. We got the bok choy right here. It's a beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Wash my hands, don't worry. And then the long beans. This is one of my favorite right here, long beans. Look how pretty that is. And if they get a little bit unstrung, just tie them back up. And then some eggplant. Boom. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with some bagaong oil. Look at that. Boom. Amazing. Doesn't that look so good? So you have the short rib right there with the bagaong oil, you have the long beans, eggplant, and some bok choy. Right, I'm gonna plate the rest and then we'll eat. Just quickly whipped up some spam fried rice before we head home today. Oh, we gotta feed these two girls. Huh? Those want dinner? They know the word dinner. Dinner? You want dinner? Okay, we are about to check out. We basically like to clean the Airbnb that we stay at and get it looking like when we came here, just out of the respect for the homeowners. Make sure everything is clean. Hero's ready to go. I'm not vlogging on my phone right now because I put all my equipment away. This is where Gyps and Atlas slept. Cute little room here. There's a half bath there. And then this goes into the main bath. I think Don's in there. <laughs> and then the master bedroom. Everything is clean. Curtains closed. Ready to go home. She's ready to go home. You ready to go home, Michael? What are you doing? Hero, are you ready to go home? Also, I don't know if I toured the back here. Let me show you guys the back real quick. Cute seating moment right there. And then it goes into the pool. Look at that view. So technically, this would be considered the front door of the house. That's how you enter the Airbnb. I have a neighbor over there. 
And then that's the other side of the pool house. And then they have an electric charger right there. It's over here. Well, let me show you the other side of the house. Oh, look at these Joshua trees. And I'm not sure what that is. That is amazing. You guys know what that one is? It almost looked like a fire stick plant, but I don't think they grow that big. Or maybe they do. So here's the other side of the house. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. And then they also have like a little fire pit over here, but we didn't use it. There was some wood in the house, but we just kind of got lazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's the house.